Well, here we are again. I have managed to find the nation's, if not the world's, biggest traffic jam a second time. Here it is now. I don't know what happened to our sunshine. Our beautiful day has disappeared. Our open road has disappeared. I've gone as far as I can on the back roads and the <laughs> the uh, robot is telling me there is nothing I can do about this. You cannot get to Atlanta, Georgia from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee without taking this piece of I-75. They act like it, 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 it can't be done. Uh, the robot is telling me to grin and bear it here on this now gloomy where are we it is i am losing all track of days of the week and dates i'm thinking are we up to wednesday afternoon uh october 30th 2024 and uh, up until now, it has been a lovely day going from East Bumblefuck, Kentucky to East Bumblefuck, Tennessee. And uh, I have no clue what the fuck is going on. It's either road construction or a wreck on whatever the big river is. Uh, ahead of us, I'm guessing, is the Tennessee River. I don't know, would be my guess. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I guess I would have to drive a hell of a long way and out of my way to get another bridge across the Tennessee River. So, uh, they're telling me just to suck it up, buttercup. Get in line and, uh, you know, it's traffic jams when you, uh, when it really becomes just, you know, how clear, how fucked we are. These, these traffic jams of, uh, anybody who thinks there's going to be some sort of uh, y y you know energy transition away from uh, from fossil fuels pull your head out of your ass please uh, <laughs> y you know I I'm out here in the middle of nowhere at 2.30 in the afternoon, uh, this is not, uh, it, it, this isn't rush hour in LA. This is 2.30 in the afternoon out in the middle of nowhere, somewhere between, uh, about halfway between Knoxville and Chattanooga, Tennessee this out in the boonies of uh, East Bumblefuck, Tennessee. And th th there are more fossil fuels being burned right now uh, on this stretch of road probably than in most, you know, sub-Saharan African countries. I-75, good God, I-75, how many miles do I have on, I hit this road in Lexington, Kentucky, I-75, I will be on I-75 from Lexington, Kentucky to Gainesville, Florida. Good Lord, that might be about half of I-75. You know, I grew up in 
Hotlanta GA on the banks of I-75. I have I have probably driven as many or more miles on Interstate 75 in my life than any other road on the planet. I have, uh, you know, I have never made it to the northern tip of it. I have been, I have been every mile of this road since probably the last hundred miles. I, I think it ends up. It, I, I guess they have that big bridge over the Straits of Mackinac or Mackinac or whatever that's called. Uh, I have never made it to that bridge in the last few miles of this road, but I have certainly been on the southern terminus of this road. Uh, you know, in Miami, Florida. Uh, you know, the last 90 miles of this road are called Alligator Alley. Alligator Alley that absolute environmental catastrophe that they that you know that panther killing uh eco side they cut across the everglades when did they finish alligator alley i'm thinking probably the early 70s i know when i was a little kid that we used to take you know highway 41 the old tamiami trail from fort myers to miami and when i was real little so i'm thinking i was probably about 12 when they cut the last piece of i-75 but i still prefer to do the tamiami trail even to this day, and I uh, don't know whether I'll be going across the Tamiami Trail this year or not. Right lane closed in one half a mile. Oh, Jesus. And, and I mean, this is what it's like with two lanes open, I can imagine. When we cut this from two lanes down to one lane to get across the uh, the Tennessee River, so I will just uh, sit here and think of things to rant about as we get ready to cross the Tennessee River. I'm getting choked by diesel fumes. 18 wheeler in front of me. I'll have to uh, get these windows shut. Where is our blue? It is. It, it, it was. It's been bright blue sky since the minute I left uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm on a Sunday morning it has been absolutely gorgeous until about 30 minutes ago uh, these clouds came out of nowhere but it is 75 degrees it is 75 degrees on October 30th I think it's 75 degrees at Bugs in a Jar Farm today if I'm not mistaken I just got off the phone with my buddy in Florida where he tells me it is 86 degrees and bright sun uh, and it's pretty much supposed to be 86 degrees every day as far as they can see in the sunshine state all right I guess I'll let this gas sucking truck come on over. But, uh, we still get to enjoy the beautiful 
fall leaves. Oh, man. It has been a pretty spectacular October from one end to the next. I remember you know, heading to Vermont on October 8th. It's 22 days ago. I was heading to the great state of Vermont thinking that I had already missed the peak of the leaves. Aye, right, yeah, it is the Tennessee River. Okay, we are coming across the Tennessee River. Another environmental just completely indefensible environmental tragedy the Tennessee Valley Authority good god alright but I guess we are cut loose and I am on the road again as the rain begins to fall, this is the first raindrops I have seen uh, since I left New York, baby. Into the raindrops, hot Atlanta.